Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Neo Scavenger. And it is time to, I think, sell that rifle at the junk market. And that is what I'm going to do. So let's get over here. And, oh, that's new. We've got a, a big sleeping bag. Now, we don't have any means of actually using that. But we can go ahead and sell the rifle, which I've already kind of decided I'm going to do. And I'm going to sell the ammunition for it as well. Oop. Got the shift key thing going. So the ammunition we have here is worth, I don't know if it's 200 total or 200 a piece. I would imagine it's 200 a total. Uh, we'll find that out here in a second. So this is worth 100. Yeah, so that's what I thought. So I've decided I'm going to get rid of the rifle because it's just not really, in my opinion, practical to use. And we're going to get a lot of money out of this by selling it. So I think that is worth it. Uh, and this is going to allow me to uh, do a lot more transactions in the future. What transactions I'm going to do, I couldn't tell you. But we got over 800, so that's pretty good. And that does mean that if, if anything isn't going too well for us, we can always come back to the city and we'll be okay. So I'm not too worried about our, our survival chances now. All right, so we got that taken care of. Ooh, basic lock picking tools. There were some lock storage sheds uh, around about, and this is only worth 10. Uh, it's fairly big though, uh, as we can see, it's a two by two. So that will be problematic to carry, but yeah, okay. I'm pretty happy with that uh, sale, even if some of you don't necessarily agree with it and you think I should keep the rifle. I, I think that's, I'm happy with that sale. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. And I'm going to go and see what else is out there to scavenge. We have a melee build here, and I think that's what we're going to go for. And the fact that we have the last chance canteen is pretty nice. That is going to allow us to get food if we're really desperate. And with the money, if we're really desperate, we can run back here and get medical attention as well. So it opens up a lot of possibilities for us. Speaking of needing certain things, food, uh, in this case, I think we need some water. So I'm going to go ahead and drink some of the water that we have on our person. Uh, all of this should be sterilized. So we'll drink some of that to deal with the thirst that we've got going. And let's continue. So we checked out this area. We need to start going up this way and get further away from the city if we want any scavengeables. And we need to end the turn. That is a lot of guards in our area. So we're just going to offer to talk so they won't kill me. What seems to be your, uh, the problem? Any work around here? Heard anything interesting? Ask about local gangs or leave? All of this could be good, but is there any work around here? Any work available? Psh! What are, you, what are you, nuts? He shakes his head. You think we got some labor shortage in this hellhole? Look around. The only th the one thing we got in spades is filthy immigrants. He heads off, interest, uninterested in anything else you have to say. All right, well, we can ask him more stuff later, I guess. Okay. But yeah, those guys sure swarm you when you're in this area trying to... Make sure you're not up to no good, I guess. All right, let's end turn. And we'll head up this way. Okay, we're already getting tired. Uh, it's probably because we're a burden. We're carrying a lot of stuff on us. All right, this is a good place to pick up some water, so I'm going to go do that. And we need to craft to do that, so we're going to use the river. And... I am going to drink some of the water I've got in my bottles, just so that we can pick up as much of the water as we can. And I'll make this like the, the dirty water down here. I would imagine that we would have uh, made ourselves a lot less burdened just by... Okay, yeah, it's not going to let me stack that water. I'll do that for now, but uh, well, you know what? It doesn't take me any effort to get more water from here, so let's just do that. 
And we'll just switch the water into this. Okay, it's not it's not cooperating with me. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, now we've got ourselves more water. We'll take the spear in our hands. Now that instantly burns us. So it's the weight of the spear that is kind of the problem. Now when the spear gets beat up enough, I will switch over to the monkey wrench and we'll just leave it behind. But for now, we're doing okay. All right, let's continue. I'm going to go along here because we can take advantage of our action points. Okay. Nothing really up here, but we are starting to get to areas that we can scavenge. All right, let's uh, end our turn. And I want to cover the most ground that I can when I'm walking. And we've got ourselves marshland over this way. We've got scavengeable stuff over this way. So I'm going to head over that direction. We'll end the turn. It's starting to get dark, so I'm going to come over here and scavenge this area. And then that's probably going to be it. Ah, there's another locked storage shed. Fortunately, we didn't get those lock picks. So let's go ahead and do that. And use the lighter. Yeah, sure, why not? We can always buy more lighters now, now that we can go back to that, uh, the, the bazaar and get whatever we want. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, we managed to pick up some good stuff. Okay, that's just a first aid, first aid kit. It's not as good as the one we have. We have another soda bottle, which uh, I can actually take. I have room for it, so we'll pick that up. Got some water. Uh, the string, actually, we want because that would fill up the can. There we go. And... I don't think there's anything else here that I'm really interested in, so we'll just move on. But the, the soda was uh, pretty good. And uh, we have another action point. I'm going to go ahead and search the crumbling apartment. It's probably worth using the lighter here just to try and make it a little bit safer for us. And we did find more stuff. Whether or not that stuff is any good for us, I don't think so, because uh, I think all we got was branches and dirty rags and things like that. So, yeah, nothing really good for us, but hey, let's, uh, let's get out of here. And I'll go ahead and move into the woods here. We'll check out the camp, see if uh, we've got a camp of decent size like this one that we can use as shelter. And I think it's time to start setting up that camp and uh, getting ready for the night because we are tired as is. So let's go ahead and end our turn. We're going to open up the crafting menu. We're going to get our fire and everything going. So that going to yeah, get the sticks. That's what we want here. That there, put that back where we Got it. Maybe over in the other screen. Then the twigs, then the trapping. We've got fire. Confirm. Put that up there. Put this back over here. Put this there. And we got ourselves a fire. Okay. I'll just close that out and reopen it. We're going to be able to make our tent now. So sticks and long string. If it's on this screen, there it is. Confirm. And we'll open and close the thing again. Okay, and then we need our noise trap again. This time I'm going to be smarter and I'm going to empty out the string before we do this. So, be out. Put back in my pocket. And we will craft the noise trap. So we've got can, got a sorted part, and we need our short string, which is probably over here. And we've got ourselves a noise trap. Okay, let's go back into our inventory. Take the, oh, actually the camp. That, that, that. We're going to have to put the sleeping bag on the ground. This time we'll actually use the sleeping bag. And there we go. So really what this does is give us better sleep and better healing. Now we don't really need the healing uh, because we don't have any health effects. As a matter of fact, we've been doing pretty good as far as staying out of fights uh, that we have a chance of getting beat up in. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and get some sleep, I guess. 
no wait we want to we want to sanitize our water so let's grab the campfire let's grab our saucepan and anything that isn't sterilized okay this isn't sterilized I don't know, some of this water might be stuff that's just on the ground, so I have to be kind of aware of that. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm fairly certain that this is stuff that's on the ground. Well, yeah, screw it. We'll, we'll sanitize it or sterilize it anyway. We've got a total of eight here. Let's go ahead and confirm, clear, confirm, clear, confirm, clear. Okay, so that's all of our water in the area. Let's see if I was right. Well, of course, I'm going to be partially right because it does get removed from your water bottles, but I, I think I am right that some of this was just on the ground water, so I figure if it's there and I really can't pick it up, I'll just go ahead and drink it. Just make sure it's sterilized. Yep. Got another one over here. Okay, so that should be the thirst taken care of. We can eat some of this meat if we want. If I were to do that, though, I would focus on meat that, oh, they all have the same condition. All right, we'll do that. Okay, so a little less burdened now, which is good. And let's go ahead and get into the camp and sleep. Looks like we actually had a good night's sleep for once. And we're going to wake up without a fire, I'm going to assume. Okay. We're now well rested. So even if we wanted to sleep, we couldn't. We're just going to end turn. And what to do? Uh, honestly, I don't know how far into the night we are, and it's not really a good idea to bumble around in the darkness. So at this point, I think I am going to just build another fire for us so that we can at least see. Okay, confirm that over here. Now, there was that one thing that we were supposed to do that was off in the northwest. I might actually want to go check that out nonetheless. Okay, let's go back to our camp. Put that there. I can scavenge. I'm not likely to find anything, but berries and things, so that's not going to be too helpful for me, but it's possible I might find water. Let's let's see what our chances are here. So it's not particularly safe. Uh, I think I am going to just not do that. Okay. Uh, I will in instead spend my, my time hiding our tracks and just trying to be a little safer, a little hide... And I can spy, so let's spy over this way. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Okay, end turn. Get back over into our fire. And end turn. Okay, so we're still definitely in nighttime here, which... There, there we go. Now it is morning. Okay, so let's go to our camp. Let's start picking stuff up. Go to our crafting and dismantle the camp. Where's that can? There we go. Oh, um, let's do it one at a time here. So clear, firm, clear. Okay, let's go to the inventory so we can pick this stuff up. It's very important we remember to pick the stuff up. Put the string in the can. Put that over there. Put the string back over here. Put the part over there. Okay, it looks like we're good to go. We want to make sure we pick up our sleeping bag. Now we're burdened again because we're carrying all that stuff. Uh, we're going to start our morning right by drinking some soda. And off we go. Okay. I'm going to go up on top of this hill. 
so we can see a little bit better and that's going to be it for the turn okay we had somebody walking around over here and i like to murder guys because it's a good way to scavenge stuff and we can always get more food all right uh i forgot on the hide so we are wasting kind of our time with that okay let's go ahead and on the hide here so that we're not wasting so much time on things we've got locked and locked and destroyed well, let's take a look at this destroyed eh, loot's not too bad let's go ahead and up that okay so we've got ourselves a nice hoodie it's better than the one we're carrying so let's get rid of that how are we doing on t-shirts so 86 and 84 anything good here no it doesn't look like it okay so we'll put our t-shirt back on we've got a left shoe that's at 88.9 percent which is better than our previous left shoe of 676%, so we'll get rid of that. These are just backup shoes in case our, our current shoes wear out. Probably a little bit of overkill, but that's okay. Put that back in there. We've got ourselves another tarp. We, I think we can continue to stack. Nope, three is as much as it can get, so we're just going to leave that behind. I may be able to craft something with this, though, so we'll take a look at that here in a second. And that is going to be that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this tarp. Uh, because, as I said, I think you can craft with that. So, there. Now we get ourselves a sack. Now, I don't know if the sack is better than the backpack. It's probably close. So, let me just check. So, we're going to clear that. All right, so if we put the backpack and the sack right next to each other, I should be able to confirm. Oh, yeah, this is a lot more storage capacity. It's also in better shape. What I might do, just as a precaution, in case this backpack falls apart, which it is getting close to doing, is I'm going to take the, sh the sack, and then I'm going to put the backpack. Oh, no, it doesn't let me do that. I forgot you can't put backpacks inside of backpacks or inside of bags, which sucks because I, I definitely would like to do that. So I'm a little bit concerned that this will fall apart at some point. Now, we want to keep using it because it has a great storage capacity. But this has a better storage capacity than uh, we currently have. So the problem is, though, I really can't carry this much stuff. I think I'm just going to keep... Ugh. All right, well, we may have wasted a string, but that's okay, and wasted some time, but... In theory, this is more cargo capacity, but I have to keep in mind how burdened I am. If I was a strong character, I'd be able to carry that kind of stuff, and it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but I don't want to make myself more burdened than I already am. So, I am going to stick with this backpack, even though this is in fantastic condition. As a matter of fact, I'm tempted... Rather than leave the sack behind to dismantle it, but that would take more action points to do. So, for now, I'll just leave it uh, as is. Uh, it's not likely we'll remember... Ooh, I didn't mean to scavenge. That was my bad. It's not likely I'll remember it's there, but uh, what the heck. All right, let's, let's move up this way. Move up this way. Okay, we found ourselves at another place we can scavenge. Let's end our turn. It's still not uh, bright daylight yet, so... Got a storage shed and a couple of abandoned office towers. So let's up our loot chances. We didn't find anything. Let's scavenge again. Confirm. Up our loot chances. Confirm. Okay, we made some noise. And scavenge one more time. We'll go to the storage shed here. I'm not going to bother with the lighter though on it. Okay, we made some noise. Uh, another backpack, but it is a not great shape. We've got a can. We've got another sack. We just made one. Uh, we have a meat cleaver, but it's not in great condition. I think we just kind of leave things. I mean, this is the, the most tempting thing to take. Uh, from a standpoint of just selling it would be nice. All right. Um, I am going to eat some of the meat that we have here. And I'm also going to drink the last of the soda. Okay. So. I think we're going to leave this stuff behind, but I mean, it's still good that we're finding it. And then we've got a destroyed office building. Looks like it's got a good chance for loot, so we'll use the lighter again. And we didn't find anything. That sucks. All right. Let's go ahead and end our turn.
now we can see and we can see that this bastard over here has a crowbar and as a matter of fact there was a lock storage shed somewhere around here so we could come over here and try and kill this guy oh we have heat exhaustion uh that's not good what, what is going on here it's still cool Okay, so we're a little overheating right now. I think I'm going to take the glove, this one off. I'm thinking about it. We could take the hospital gown off. That might help. See, the problem is I take clothes off. I don't really have a way of, of keeping them. Because our, our cargo, or our capacity, is a little full right now. I'm tempted to drop one of these shoes and just... ...carry some of this stuff. I mean, the obvious choice is take the coat off. Okay, um... We already have one right shoe, so I'll take that off. Put the hospital gown in our pack. Oh, I've got this here, so I can take one of the t-shirts off. Put that in our pocket. Okay, hopefully that will help a little bit with the heat exhaustion. As we take some of, some of our clothes off. Okay, uh... I would like to come down and kill this guy if I can. And we might be able to take advantage of our reach advantage uh, to do that. We'll see. But I think right now this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So we've taken off a couple of our clothing items just to try and cool ourselves down a little bit so that we don't have this heat exhaustion going. I am going to have to keep an eye on that. And we do have this guy that we can come down here and try and kill to get his uh, crowbar. You can attach a string to a crowbar and put it over your shoulder. And you can still use the crowbar to open things for you and help you looting. So uh, I think a crowbar is a worthy item to try and get. Now, it is a weapon that we can uh, take damage from. So if we're not careful, it can be dangerous. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mel Skinner, signing out.